Not quite as bad, is it? Bottom setting, no gain. Hey YouTube, forward programming, step four. We're gonna talk about adjustable or fixed gains. In video three, in our step-by-step -step forward programming video series, we set our gains to fixed in both of our flight modes. However, we saw our elevator going crazy. So the gains are obviously too high, too sensitive for our demo plane. We set the gains on 4X because we are setting up an imaginary FMS beaver. If this truly was a beaver, then the gains are okay and the elevator wouldn't flutter like that. However, fixed gains are adjustable gains. If you have an available channel, it's not a bad idea to set up adjustable gains. But we'll just run through the forward programming menu for a second and we'll just talk about them. We're only a few steps away from safe select. So throttle cuts on, airplanes on. Let's go down here to the forward programming into the gyro settings. Let's double check our flight mode that we set up earlier in the video series. Flight mode three, AS3X active. Flip our switch. Flight mode one, AS3X active. Awesome. Back, AS3X settings. We set our gain sensitivity to 4X. And then we set our gains to fixed in flight mode one and fixed in flight mode three. Now, if you have an available channel, it's not a bad idea to have adjustable gains, especially if you have a transmitter that has a knob or sliders. Let's just imaginary think that we want to set up adjustable gains instead of fixed. So back, and we'll just have to look around for a second here. System setup, gain channel, select. So roll pitch, y'all, it's inhibited because we haven't picked a gain channel yet. Our gain channel is going to be, let's see what we have available. Select, I'm rolling the scroll wheel. Gear, nope, we're using gear for our flight mode. Auxiliary one. Auxiliary two. That's it. This is a NX6 six channel transmitter, but it has one more hidden channel that has limited function to turn safe select on and off. Auxiliary one would be channel six, also known as flaps. Auxiliary two would be channel seven. Let's use auxiliary one and we'll assign auxiliary one to roll pitch and yaw. If you have a capable transmitter, you can do three different uh, channels. That way you can adjust them all differently. Don't forget our elevator was going crazy. You know, the gains were obviously a little too high. So let's uh, fix that. All right, so now we've chose to have our adjustable gains on auxiliary one, which is also channel six. We need to back out of forward programming and go to the channel assignment in the transmitter. And we need to figure out what switch is going to operate our auxiliary one channel. So let's just back out of forward programming. And we need to go to system setup. And then we need to go down to the channel assign and channel six is auxiliary one and it's already on the C switch, which is right here. And we'll just leave it there. And we'll just back out of this guy and let's go back into forward programming. Gyro settings, system setup, gain channel select. Okay, it's still on our auxiliary one. the AS3X gains. In flight mode one, the default settings is 40, 50, and 
flip our switch. The default settings are 40, 50, and 60%. Now remember we had fixed gains. We need to change them to adjustable gains. We chose 4X and down here, fixed or adjustable. We need to make them adjustable, which I already done. Flight mode three, adjustable. Let's make sure they're adjustable in flight mode one. Yes, they're adjustable. I just made them adjustable. So now, let me tell you what we did. Remember the elevator was flapping away real crazy, so the gains were really high. So now we have made our gains adjustable and we put them on a three position switch. So if we're talking about the pitch, our elevator was going crazy. When the switch is in the top setting, it would have full 50% of the gains. When the switch is in the middle setting, it would have about 25% of the gains. When the switch is down, it would have no gains. Let's look at the monitor screen real quick so we can see it. Auxiliary one is our adjustable gains. If you had a knob, then you could fine tune it, okay? But we only have a three position switch. So at the bottom, negative 100, the middle zero, the top, positive 100. If it was on a knob, it would go negative 100, you know, negative 80, ne negative 70, you know, negative 50, zero, positive 10, and so on. You can fine tune your gains. So let's look at our airplane here and see what the adjustable gains actually do. Okie dokie. So our gain channel is all the way to the top. It's in its highest position like it was before. Look at the elevator just going crazy. A gust of wind blows the plane up. The elevator just going haywire. So let's put it in the middle setting. Not quite as bad, is it? Bottom setting, no gain. There's a little demo on the adjustable gains. Switch up, full gains. There it is, look. Middle setting, it stopped. So that would be where you might want to fly the plane. Bottom setting, no gains. Let's go back into forward programming. And for our demo purposes, we're going to have fixed gains. So let's uh, put it back on fixed. Gyro. Flat mode. Wrong. AS3X. Gains. 4X. And fixed, fixed, fixed. Flat mode one, flip our switch. Flat mode three, fixed, fixed, fixed. Back out, back out. Sometimes I like to do relearn servo settings. That's not a bad idea. And then we'll back out. So there's adjustable versus the fixed gains. Okay, guys, hey, that was step four. That was just important information, and eventually you will want to uh, have the adjustable gains, especially uh, if you have a transmitter that has the channels capable, like we talked about it, they're available to use. be a good idea to uh, make them adjustable. You know, look at our elevator in the previous uh, video, and this one. So, all right, guys, hey, thank you. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, Share the video with your friends. Make sure uh, you, you're subscribed if you haven't. And then, uh, oh, 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 ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Doing all that stuff is fantastic, guys. It really helps out with me. It tells the big su supercomputer at YouTube that uh, you guys like what I'm doing. Therefore, it will put me in front of other people. And then they're uh, doing forward programming as well. Alrighty. Thank you, guys. Hey, until next time, you will see me. No. Oh. All right. Adios.